Okay, what's up guys? Zebu David speaking and today I'm gonna do a video in response to, to some users who faced problems with the Asus G75 VW laptop. This version is the BBK5 which I got from Best Buy. I've been using this for two months and I've also faced the problem. I've tried to fix it for a dozen times but I couldn't. But last week I've tried once and with this, a different a different thing and it worked. So here's what you gotta do. First, you gotta download the latest BIOS and audio drivers. I've got installed now the BIOS version 210 and the audio driver version let me show it to you this is version 60 okay come on focus focus mm. 6011600 this is the version and you gotta download bo both of them on the website I'm in right now which is Asus website just go for support and then you're gonna enter on Asus support and then you go for download type in your Asus version which is G75 it's gonna oh, G76 no it doesn't even exist yet sorry search and you're gonna find the VX is gonna be an awesome laptop but we still have the G75 VW okay so you select OS since I haven't updated it I'm on Windows 7 and then you're gonna find all the files you want to just download it it's pretty straightforward and then you gotta get the BIOS files and zip it throw it in a specific file I prefer desktop because it's easier but after I'm gonna t I'm g after I'm gonna explain you why you have to do this but please unzip it and put it on the file and throw it in your desktop or on a, or on a file you search you find easily you could find easily and then with the audio drivers is just download them and install them on, on your computer it's pretty straightforward you don't have to it, it doesn't matter the order which you install first but in my case I first did the BIOS and then the audio driver don't know if it's a specific thing but if you want it to have a hundred percent sure that it works do the same as me first download and flash okay the BIOS and now I'm gonna restart my computer and enter on the BIOS menu to show you what have I done what's the magic so once it's shutting down and it's gonna power again you just pay attention to, to the F2 button because this is gonna allow you to enter on your BIOS when it first when it downloads you gotta keep hitting the F2 button so then you're gonna have the BIOS page okay on the BIOS page if you haven't flashed your new BIOS yet it's not gonna be 210 it's gonna be a later version then you go to um, advanced start easy flash and then on this easy flash utility you're gonna search for your your files and download the BIOS it's just reach the file where you have extracted all the files and then since this is an easy flash it will after you choose this file it will automatically get the files and start flashing the BIOS it's gonna be awesome it's an awesome tool thanks Asus alright then after that after you flash your BIOS and things here's the magic you go on the BIOS menu to save and exit there will be an option restore defaults yes this is what saves your ass you go to restore defaults load optimize defaults and you click yes I'm not gonna do this because I've already done it after you click yes it takes it takes like half a second to do it and you go to save changes and exit I can save changes and exit because I haven't done nothing so then you're gonna start your computer um, wait for it to start windows yeah this is a slow boot because I'm using the original hard drive which is uh, one terabyte 5400 rpm it is a slow hard drive I recommend if you have bought your laptop on Best Buy or another retailer I'm gonna put sorry guys I'm gonna type in my password I'm, I'm not gonna show this to you but if you buy this laptop with the one terabyte slow drive please not please sorry just 
get an SSD drive and your life is gonna be much better. And I'm willing to I'm willing to add an SSD because seriously, an SSD on this laptop makes it fly. And you have two decks, two spaces, two hard drive slots, so you don't need to mind taking your older one, you just install a new one. So then for you guys to prove that it is fixed, I'm gonna go for YouTube, grab the first video, which is on ah, Linus Tech Tips videos. I love this guy, this is my hero. His video made me buy this laptop, his review, because I was in doubt and he told me. Okay, so here's without the headphones. And just for you guys who want to answer, this is my gaming headphones. This is in Sony DR, DRGA 200 headphones. I bought, I bought the auto processor, so, and just for you guys to know. So, let's start the video. You can hear the audio because now I don't have anything plugged in. Welcome to my okay, and then just grab your headphone, plug it on the audio jack, and magically the sound disappears. The fix has been done, and now your computer doesn't have any more audio issues. And just for you to show, just to show you guys, just. Just gonna show the via the new via driver after you load the optimized defaults. No, it's not. Sorry, I've clicked on. Oh boy, I've clicked on wrong things. Sorry. Okay, so this is what. What? What you doing, man? Get out. Yes, close the software. I don't need you. I need you. This is the new via. Via HD audio driver, you can see there is no uh, headphone option. Don't mind it. This is the way it's gonna work fine for you. You can see. Let me show you once more with headphone. Saying, yep, this is without the headphone. Best. We are gonna put a five-year warranty on this in the U.S. and Canada. Um, and with headphone. Without headphone. Okay. With headphone. Yes, it's working. For you guys who don't, I'm gonna cancel the audio because so this is the way I've done it it fixed my laptop it's working fine it's doing fine the audio is working pretty well the subwoofer is working nothing has been compromised and now I have the audio audio cancellation uh, uh, the the thing that when you plug the headphone in the audio stops working the the subwoofer and the other speakers so this is how I've done it I hope it helped you guys um, any questions or doubts, please comment on the section below. This is Zeb David, and I hope I hope I've done something for you. See you guys. Bye bye.